And this time around, I want to talk to you about a module designed by Michael Barton of Barton Musical Circuits. He calls it the 4046 Wave Shaper. And this is a module that takes an audio signal input, something from an oscillator or a filter or whatever, and you put it in and it converts that audio signal to a square wave and then using a phase locked loop and a binary counter, it produces seven audio signals that are copies of that input, but shifted in octaves. So there's one that's at the, the same frequency as the input. There's one an octave higher, another one two octaves higher, another one three octaves higher, another one an octave lower, two octaves lower, and three octaves lower. So seven signals ranging over seven octaves. And then those seven octave signals go into a mixer with seven knobs and you can control the amount of each of these seven octaves in the mix and then the mixed output becomes the output from the module. So you can put in even just a sine wave, a single frequency and what do you get out? You get this whole pile of harmonics and subharmonics of that input frequency. So I heard about this and I said, that's pretty cool. I like that. You know what would be even cooler though is if that output mixer were voltage controlled so that you could use control voltages to vary the harmonic content of the output. That would be really cool. How would you do that? Well, you basically, uh, you'd kind of have to add seven voltage controlled amplifiers to take the seven signals and rescale them according to a control voltage before mixing them together. Yeah, stuffing seven voltage controlled amplifiers into a module just to do that, is, it's <laughs> ridiculous. It's not worth contemplating. Uh, so I contemplated it, and uh, um, I something occurred to me, which I had just been reading about and messing around with, and eventually made use of it in my noise bells module, which is these signals that you're mixing here. Um, they're all square waves, and for square waves, you can make a pseudo VCA. You can make something that behaves just like a VCA four square waves using only an analog switch and a resistor. Uh, and you can get chips with four analog switches in each chip, so two of these chips and seven resistors, you've got seven VCAs. Okay, these are not VCAs in, in reality, they don't work with general input signals, but they produce a result just like a VCA if the input signal is a square wave. So I said, well, maybe you can do that. That was about a year and a half ago, and I just got it working. Um, I haven't spent a year and a half solid working on it. I had it on the back burner for a while and so forth, but I did go through uh, several iterations, uh, several rounds of really boneheaded mistakes, but I think I finally got it working. Um, and I thought about uh, laying out a new circuit board for this modified version, and then I realized, well, you know, I'm not really modifying what Barton's doing. I'm just kind of stealing seven signals off of his, his design, putting them through these VCAs and then injecting those seven singles back. So 
I figured, you know, I could just use the Barton board with uh, some modifications. So that's how I built it. So what we ended up here with is this module. This is the voltage controlled 4046 wave shaper. It's got these uh, seven knobs to control the seven octaves, but it also has seven jacks for seven control voltage inputs. Uh, there's one other change, which is you've got a level control here, uh, which I'll talk about a little more, a little bit more later on. Um, but yeah, what's going on here is if you look at the back, what we have here is the the actual uh, Barton circuit board, which I bought from Barton Musical Circuits and built pretty much mostly as designed, but with some changes, most notably right in here is where you have these seven signals coming off of this chip and uh, six of them come out here, one comes out here. They uh, were at this point, there's supposed to be seven capacitors that these things go through. What I did was I, instead of putting the capacitors there, I soldered a ribbon cable. This ribbon cable runs to this auxiliary circuit board down here. It goes through the seven pseudo VCAs. The seven signals come back on the other seven conductors of this 14 conductor ribbon cable uh, and go back to the other side of the capacitor footprints. And then they just go back through the uh, the rest of the Barton design, except that um, where did those capacitors go? Or they're, they're supposed to be there somewhere. Well, in the original circuit board, there were seven potentiometers for attenuating the signals going into the mixer. Don't need them anymore because now the, uh, the seven knobs are on that board. So up here you can see um, We've got seven capacitors here, which are kind of kludged into the footprints for the original seven potentiometers. So instead of going from the, the chip to the capacitors to the potentiometers to the output mixer, they go from the chip to the ribbon cable through the VCAs to the capacitors and then out to the output mixer. So that's how it all goes together structurally, and that gives you a voltage-controlled seven-input mixer for the output stage here. The, uh, the one other thing I mentioned, this knob here, when you try to mix together seven signals, if you've got, if six of those signals are turned out zero and one of them is, is large, you want that signal to be nice and large going into that output stage uh, so you get a nice, uh, you know, plus and minus five volt output up the other end. But if you then turn up the other seven, excuse me, the other six signals, so that you got seven signals going in and they're all large, then instead of being plus and minus five volts, it's going to be plus and minus 35 volts, except that it's not going to be plus and minus 35 volts because you don't have 35 volts on your power supply. So the output's going to clip. And if you want to avoid the clipping, what you have to do is turn down all seven of these potentiometers and use just maybe the first one quarter or so of each potentiometer in order to make sure that the sum of the whole thing doesn't add up to beyond the capacity of the output gain stage. Or you change the gain of the output gain stage, reduce the gain so that it's not trying to put out 35 volts, it's trying to put out 5 volts. Uh, in the original design by Barton, the gain on that output stage is fixed. Uh, unity gain, 5 volt signal in, 5 volt signal out. The idea here is that I've replaced the resistor here with wires leading to this potentiometer. And now you can just turn the gain down on that final stage and then you can make full use of the full range of these potentiometers here without clipping because the gain has been turned down on that final stage. 
and you can turn it up again if you're only using one or two of these channels. That's the idea of the thing. Let's take a look at how it sounds. There you go, the voltage controlled modification of the Barton 4046 Wave Shaper. Hope you enjoyed taking a look at that. Hope you'll be back again when I show you some other cool things coming up soon. There's a like button, there's a subscribe button, you know what to do. Hit those, stay tuned, watch for the next video, and I'll see you then on Analog Output.